Good afternoon to you, lovely person you are. Great, thanks for tuning in today. My name is Prosper Tarawinga, just in case this is the first time you've had an encounter with us. And I'm the founder and CEO of Live Long Digital. And today on this Lunch and Learn, we're going to talk about eight things that you ought to do in order to be visible with your marketing. And I'm also going to be giving you a step-by-step 24-hour uh, procedure that you can actually do so you can have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. Okay, so like I said, my name is Prosper Taruinga and uh, my job really is an easy job. I do a lot of cool stuff for my clients. They pay me and then I just sit here for 30 minutes and I report back what's working, what's not working so that you too can start scale and grow a business that's profitable and enjoyable. Okay, so if this is the first time you're actually tuning in, can you just write down where you are tuning in from? I'm in Melbourne right now. So if you are interested, this is an everyday thing, Monday to Friday, every 2 p.m. AEST. We sit down and we look at the nuts and bolts of stuff that can help you start, scale and grow a business that's profitable and enjoyable. So today we're talking about eight things that you can actually do and the thing and how you can actually implement that into your business for the next 24 hours. Okay, why eight things and why 24 hours? Eight is just a cool number. Obviously, if I would say seven, then you would think it's something you can do over a week. 24 hours to show you that you are actually in, you know, you actually have all the um, equipment, you actually have all the tools that you need to just actually, you know, revamp your business from where you are right now to where you really, really want to, which is pretty much um, a lot of profit and a lot of money, etc., etc. Okay, so if I'm not mistaken, I know right now you don't have leads in your business. I know you don't have guaranteed income. I know you're studying every course possible online. I know you're chasing every shiny object because you know why you think it's going to be the one thing that's going to help you. I know you don't have a system to follow. I know you also don't have a process to follow. First of all, a process to get the leads and second, a process to follow after you got the leads etc etc right now i know for sure you have no freedom you are tied to your computer all you are doing is trying to fulfill tasks and i know that you are totally alone you probably don't have a network of people that you can rely on that tell you or you don't have a mentor i know you are struggling right now to get enough income into your business and you are very skeptical of all the results and all the people that are called gurus out there that might say, I've got the next thing that is going to help you. And you know what else I know? I know you want strong guarantee that you're not going to waste your time. I know you want a guarantee that you're not going to waste your money. And I know you want a guarantee that you're not going to waste your effort. Okay. And I know you really want your business to grow. I really know that you want profit and I know you want, you know, you to, to make your family proud. And I know you really, really, really want to get a reward for what you've been working on. So because I know all of this, I got you. All right. I got you. So stop everything else that you're doing right now because this video is for you, tailor made for you, Bobby, tailor made for you, Francesco, tailor made for you, Timothy, tailor made for you, Anna, tailor made for you, Barbara. Every one of you guys watching right now, know that I appreciate you, know that I got you. The next 30 minutes is yours, and I want that after the next 30 minutes, the next 24 hours is going to be the beginning of the rest of your life. Okay? Right. After after going through all these things that I know you're going through right now, I want to position myself as the person with a solution that you've been looking for. I want to position myself as a person with the capability of, you know, setting your mindset expectations and actually showing you what is working, what you should ditch and all the things that are a pain in your budget that you're doing and chasing right now and tell you that all you got to do is be you. 
Be yourself and people will definitely start following you. People will start knowing you, liking you and trusting you. All right. All the stuff that you're chasing around, all the stuff that's a pain in your budget. If you look at it right now, today's a Friday. You've probably paid $200 on clickety clack funnels or you probably paid $200 on some get rich quick scheme. You probably bought a course. You probably bought some sort of course. You probably bought a PDF and a glorified, um, you know, hamper worth nothing and you still have no certainty. You still have no proven system. You still have no solution. You still have not seen any positive results. You still have not seen the business transformation you're looking for. You still haven't gotten value from all the free webinars that you're booking. You've got scheduled up until next week. You still don't have profit in your business. Right now, all of that is going to stop if you're serious and if you really, really, really Take on what I'm about to tell you, the eight things that you really got to concentrate on and how to implement those things into your business for the next 24 hours. Thank you so much. Like I said, my name is Prosper, by the way. Okay, so most of us are trying everything. Do you know what I mean? And, and we all know that right now we don't quite have the money to be splurging on the next software, the next course. We don't have it. And your business might be on a budget right now. But that doesn't mean you should kill your visibility. That doesn't mean you should not be putting out your message out there. Because let me tell you something. People need to see your stuff eight times. The most. All right? People need to see what you're doing. And so that they can know, like, and trust you. And people do business with those that they know, like, and trust. Now, if you're going to be a one-click wonder by just showing up just today... Do you think somebody who is waiting for their time number seven in order for them to justify that you're the person to say, to help them, um, you know, with the pain that they have is going to take you seriously? I guess not. All right. So there's a few things that you can constantly do, just like you see me every single time in your newsfeed, just like you see me every single time showing up, creating and relating with my clients and actually knowing what your pain is. You know why? Because I listen. All right. I'm not spending time uh, scrolling on Facebook or asking stupid questions just to get engagement. No, I'm actually listening. I'm watching what you're doing. I'm seeing the results that you have. And right now, that's why I say all you need is these eight things that will improve your visibility. And then pretty much after that, a step by step of how you can implement that in the next 24 hours. Every one of us has 24 hours during the day. You know what I mean? Every one of us has the time. If you're really, really serious and you really want to stop playing with yourself on the internet, stop, you know, lying to your family and stop hiding from your friends just because you haven't gotten the results, just because you're not producing the results and just because you've got nothing to show, listen to this video. Tag somebody who might think this video is going to be for them. Okay? So... It's, it's not easy. I mean, it's, it's for the brave. It's for those people that really, really want it. And those people that are really ambitious with growth plans. And they really want a business that's profitable and enjoyable. Some people enjoy the pain. If that's you, you can walk away. Some people enjoy copying other people. If that's you, ah. Uh, I don't want to talk to you. I want to talk to those people that are so dedicated, that are so excited about their business and all they just want is to kick ass, kick goals and get rid of all the bullshit crud and stupid, you know, mindset they already have and also take away everything that's a pain in the budget. Because all of these things you can do on, on, on a cheap or on free, okay? All right, so maybe right now you've got a limited budget. You know, there's, there's no compromise to the stuff that you can do. And, 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 you know, just so that you can do a quickie and, and, and you know, get clients coming in, etc., etc. It's a fine. It's all right. A lot of it is really good, but it's not consistent. Because your client is not going to want to follow you if you're just a one-hit wonder. Can you imagine if Beyonce just came up with one single hit, all the single ladies, all the single ladies, and went back to Jay-Z, and we never heard from her? Nobody would follow her. Nobody would buy her perfumes. Nobody would do any sort of business with her. 
Do you know what I mean? So you got to be there for the people that you're dealing with. Remember, if you are a business person, you are dealing with people's hopes, people's dreams, people's sacrifices. So they don't want to just place them on somebody who's just going to be a one-click wonder. You got to be there. Right? That's the reason why I show up every single day uh, for 30 minutes. No, even if nobody's watching, even if nobody's there, I am now racking views of up to 500 views per video. And some of them are not the best videos, but I'm still showing up. I'm still creating. I'm still relating. And I'm still studying my client up until I know what to offer them. I'm giving them so much value that all they're doing is appreciating me with their credit card. Okay, so it's that simple. You know, there are a lot of great ways or, you know, budget smart tactics that you can actually put into your business on the fast track. Some of them will work, some of them won't. But be careful of all the things that are a pain in the budget. All right, even if you don't have deep pockets, social media and Facebook has made it so easy to compare actually with the big brands. Okay, and there's proven things that I'm doing every single day that I want you to start implementing in your business that have actually created a budget conscious entrepreneur out of me, out of my clients and those people that I'm working with and dealing with. Okay, and Dominic says, but I don't like people. Most people should I move continents. Dominic, I'm really serious here. And if you're not going to be serious about your business, get out of my way. All right. Anyway, at the end of the day, it's one of those things. If you've got customers already, try and reward those people that you have already um, gotten, you know, together. Those people that you've already um, got. It's easier to convert or to sell more to somebody who's already bought from you than acquiring new customers. It's that simple. Since it actually costs up to five times more to win new customers than to retain an old one, have strategies in place to actually have customer reward programs or get them to actually become your, um, you know, your, 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 what do you call it? Your influencers or people that are your ambassadors that are talking on your behalf while you're not there. All right. So at the end of the day, you know, you want to create a group of people that will actively promote your programs, people that are really loyal and can share your stuff and you will be there, you know, because at the end of the day, if somebody shares your stuff, make sure you go behind the scenes and actively thank them. They could be doing that with anybody. Um, you know, they could be doing that with two billion other people on Facebook. So if somebody is taking your stuff seriously, reciprocate that. Okay, and then once you've got those loyal customers, make sure you are putting in the work for them and make sure you're actually appreciating them. Just like what KG Cooper is doing, showing the love. I really appreciate that love and you know that. Okay, so putting in those rewards and just connecting and relating to those people that actually care would move your stuff a whole lot more. Because the more people start commenting on your stuff, you know, start reacting it, it, it improves your visibility online. Do you know what I mean? So you don't have to continuously, um, you know, reach out to new people. You just really concentrate on those people that actually love your stuff and make sure you're doing good by them. Okay? Because all we want these days is the vanity of, oh, I've got 3,000 fans. But of those 3,000 fans, there's three people that have probably bought from you that are actually sharing your stuff, that actually dig your content. What are you doing with those three to actually, you know, implement or influence them to want more from you, to buy more, so you have a, a longer life lifespan of that customer? All right. So if you are rewarding those people that are actually working with you, if you are rewarding those people that are actually doing favors for your business, you will see your growth going exponential. Okay, you see people sharing your stuff and more people sharing your stuff. It validates you that becomes social proof. Okay, exactly. Like what KG says, they are our VIP and evangelists. Don't go out chasing waterfalls, guys. Just stick to the people that you already know and like. I know there's going to be shiny objects, etc, etc. But you know what? It don't mean anything if it's not paying your bills. It don't mean anything if it's not converting into the credit card. Okay. All right. So another thing that y'all not doing is converting those people that are already in your following into an email list. All right. That then makes it an easier way. How much does it cost you to send an email? 
If anything, it costs you like 20 cents or cheap. All right. So email is actually a really low cost, but a very high return way that you can do behind the scenes. All right. And then at the end of the day, all you got to do is maintain that relationship and create it behind the scenes and stuff that they're not seeing or stuff that you're not putting out there just because every Jack and Jill can see it. Your clients are getting first class, you know, behind the scenes. You're putting back the curtain for them to actually see what it is that you're doing for them. Okay. Make sure you are collecting email addresses of all the people that are following you so that you can communicate with them behind the scenes. And says, I'm laughing. Um, a new system Monday. So excited. All right. Congratulations to you. And KJ Cooper says, yes, I need to get on that building a foxhole. Exactly. All right. So those people that you have behind the scenes, it's like performing into an, a theater. It's like actually making sure that those people are the pe Oh my God. Hillary Snaith just joined. How are you doing, Hillary? Thank you so much. I really appreciate you being on here today. Anyway, when you start sending emails to those people, it, 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 you start relating to them. You start knowing what it is that people, um, you know, pe people like. Once you know what your customers like, all you're doing is just releasing into the market what exactly they want and what does that do for you. It now makes you the person that can actually start a scale and grow and actually, you know, you know, expand your influence to those people that are there. All right. So it also depends what it is that you do. Another thing that you can do is to start incorporating local paid search within your um, marketing. Because once somebody sees your ad and then maybe they forget, like today is a Friday, people will be out, maybe they're just scrolling, waiting for their friend, but then they see something that intrigues their, their you know, their, 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 their psyche or it intrigues them what it is that you're talking about. If your page is not going to be seen directly on top of Google, then that is wasted ad spend, all right? So you can choose an SEO, you know, expert like, you know, some people that you know that are talking to you right now. Um, and then they will help you put your page to actually rank on top of Google. Now, KG says, Prosper, your passion makes me want to stay up all night working. <laughs> well, you got to do it. And if you don't do it, nobody else is going to um, do it for you. Okay. So once you've instigated, you know, that local page search, it will actually help you reach those people even when you're sleeping. Because I think some really smart people told me that if you're not making money while you sleep, naturally you're going to be working the rest of your life. And I don't think you want to be doing that. I know you want that freedom. I know you want to be free and actually start doing things that will help you and your family moving forward. All right, Peter Combi, thank you so much for tuning in, buddy. All right, so, you know, once you start making all these little um you know, once you start making all these little moves, all these little tweaks and actually monetizing on the audience that you already have, it becomes a whole lot easier. It becomes a whole lot simple. And most of the things that you want, you will be doing, they are not going to be a pain in the budget. All right. And Steven says automa automation is a must, uh, making shit happen. Well, automation can be okay to a certain extent. You still got to connect. Because these people are people, they bleed, they've got credit cards, you make sure that you are actually really, 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 really in front of the people that really care. Okay, and Peter Combi says, I love your uh, lives, thank you, thank you. Yes, a pain in the budget. Trish, this is me worshipping the ground that you're standing on right now. This is for you, Trish. Thank you so much. Yeah, once you start getting leads on autopilot, you don't have to really, really worry about getting money and how to actually do it. Okay, right. The one thing that I'm also utilizing is marketing partnerships. All right. We are around people that are also dealing with the same people we're trying to reach out to. A dentist right now is looking for people that might need a, a, a clean or a fill, but that person is also the same person that a real estate agent is looking for. But we're not collaborating in that way to actually cross-pollinate our clients. 
All right, you might be sitting with my clients and you don't offer the services that I offer. So if I start talking to you and if I start working together with you, we might actually get into that audience and start creating, you know, unified packages for them. All right, Peter Combi, let me know what examples you want me to talk about. All right, so half the time when, um, when money is tight, all right, it often, uh, you know, powers or it often helps for you to actually partner with another company that targets the same audience. All right. You know, you, you can forge marketing partnerships with businesses that are actually offering those same complementary services. A guy who creates pens will look out for a guy who creates paper. All right. And both of you guys can now start collaborating and you come up with the best package that your clients would not have been able to, 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 to get anywhere else. And Trish says, yes, collaborations with other businesses. Love that. Of course, that's one of those things that can actually work. Now, Peter says, anything, speak your mind about autopilot. Peter Combi, seriously, about autopilot, there's certain ways of, you know, what, what you mean autopilot is maybe having um, emails that are drop feeding, drip feeding to those people, but you still have to have an element of actually connecting with those people because people don't buy from avatars. People buy from people that they know, like, and trust. Now, if you leave everything else to be on autopilot, you're leaving a lot of money on the table. You know why? Because some people still want that human touch, that human element. You know, some people still want you to relate to them in such a way. You know why? Because we have become so personable. We have become so personal. If you're going to write an email to me and say, hi, Prosper, I hope Kalia is having a good day. I saw you yesterday on the train. I might not open it. And that's what everybody else is doing. So you got to prove that you actually care about the people that you are serving. You got to prove that you actually care about the people that you're getting money from. You know what? Because it's hard earned cash for them. All right. And it, it also works out like that. Exactly. Okay. So um, Peter says FB ads, uh, FB, FB groups, emails, any way that you can relate to people in whichever way it works out. And yeah, creativity is also really, really good. You know, so I did promise that I have a step by step um, 24 hour procedure that you can start putting in place right now. OK, so obviously you've created stuff for the people you're now relating to them. And also, if you want content ideas on how you can step, stay on top of your game on social media, just type in content and I'll send through to you a list of 100 content tips that I take care of in my business as well. Okay. All right. So just type in content tips so that um, I'll send through to you um, the PDF with 100 content ideas that you can utilize to actually create and relate to your customers. All right. So in less than a day, you can actually start implementing the things that I'm talking about by actually creating some proper marketing magic. All right. So we all have 24 hours in a day. We all have time that we are not actually utilizing. We all have the equipment. We all have the brain power. We're just not really pushing ourselves as much as possible. Okay. So, you know, you gotta have a plan, a game plan and fear not. Don't be afraid of asking the people that owe you money for your money. All right. Everybody else that's supposed to be your customer, everybody else that you can solve a problem for owes you a lot of money. All right. So if that works out for you, please, please, please reach out to the people and tell them, hey, Peter, hey, KJ, hey, Linda, hey, Trish, I want my money from you. But you got to have a plan and you got to have something to, to, to swap it for. OK, so it's actually possible to actually do all these things in the next 24 hours or over the next weekend. All right. And then, you know, it's just a series of steps that you can actually do, create a schedule that you can actually implement and you do all these marketing activities so that you seem like you're omnipresent. OK, and it's not expensive and you can do it with a very small budget or very cheaply. So it's not going to be a pain in the budget. OK, and before you know it, you start, you know, literally creating and relating to your clients. People actually now start caring about the stuff you're putting out there. You also are accountable and you are consistent and people start noticing your worth. People start noticing your presence. OK. The first hour when you want to put it all together, 
Let me see what uh, Rihanna says. <laughs> Better have my money. Oh, exactly. And if you want to club them, people, call me, Trish. Call me. The first hour, take stock. Take stock of where you're at. Take stock of, take stock of where you want to be. Take stock of what you've got to do. In order for you to be, for you to have, you got to be the person you want to be and start doing the, the things in between. So from where you are to where you want to be, all you got to do is bridge the gap. Okay, so map your way of, you know, when you start your marketing plan, just figure out where you are right now. How many clients have you got? How many people are actually following you? How many people are actually paying attention to your stuff? What businesses are you satisfying? What are your services? Who cares about what you're selling? Why should they care? And why should they care continuously? All right, because if you ain't got answers to those questions, then you're not going to get paid tomorrow. You're not going to get paid next week. You're not going to get paid next year. All right, so once you know where you are right now and how is your business positioned in the market, who is your competition, where are you based, who is your customers paying attention to right now, what are they listening to, and why should you care particularly about putting out that content so you can match whoever is in the market doing exactly the same thing. Because you're not the only person that wants to be rich. You're not the only person that wants to be a millionaire. You're not the only person that wants to grab your clients by the... All right. So at the end of the day, figure out what sort of feedback you've got. Figure out what sort of objections you might be facing. Why are people not buying from you, but buying from Prosper? Why are people buying from Trish, but not buying from you? Figure out what she's doing any different. That's only in one hour. All right, so all this philosophy, figure out what your strengths are, figure out what your weaknesses are, and don't worry, it doesn't have to be neatly organized, just put it down. First of all, it, it cleans up your mind, you get to know what you're doing, and the most important thing is once you write it down, you become familiar with it. Remember when I started this video, I outlined exactly what your problems are. I know them off heart, you know why? Because I'm studying my clients, I'm studying my audience. Okay, and I believe Trish, I showed you the behind the scenes that I've got 20 pages of what you, my audience, is facing right now. And every single day I'm coming back with things and you're like, how does he know this stuff? No, you guys are telling me every single day. All right. So you should also actively watch, listen, your audience. What are they responding to? Who are they talking to? What are they talking about in the groups? Once you know that, just go out and give them stuff that they already want. Then you become the local hero. All right. And people start knowing, liking and trusting you. So that would only take you just one hour of your day. Hour two and three. Already we've got 23 hours to go. Right. Let me let me let me keep a tally. So. The next 23 hours, set the goal. What is it that you want to achieve? Is it, do you want more clients? Do you want more resources? Do you want more partnerships? Do you want to create more influence? What is it that you want to do? Because impact and influence creates income. So if any of the eyes are not being touched in what it is that you're looking for, ooh, Three says, yes, that's vital information. I took a lift from your book. Valuable. Of course, love. Exactly. Are we still getting up for a coffee or whatever it is? Let a brother know. Okay, so here we go. So you want to ask yourself, what am I trying to accomplish? Why am I showing up every single day for 30 minutes and, 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 and you know, speaking to people and, and trying to help the market scale and grow their business? What am I trying to accomplish? Do I want to increase sales? Do I want to create a certain perception about my business or am I just wanting to generate traffic coming into my business? What is the right marketing that I can put out there? What is the right wording? How will Trish understand my work? How will Peter grab this content? How will he, how can I make him share this video right now? You know, I saw Peter Combi hanging out with one of the people that I respect in marketing and him watching this video right now makes me go, Damn, I must be doing something good. Oh yeah, there we go, props to me. So that's what I'm talking about. So figure out what it is that you really want to achieve. Don't just spray and pray with your marketing because once you start doing that, people will also lose track of what you're hoping to achieve. All right, so what do you want to do? Traffic, what do you want to create friends? What do you want to do? What do you want to do? Why are you wasting your time? Why are you wasting your money? Why are you wasting your effort? 
What are you hoping to achieve? That's the second hour. So we are on hour number 23 right now, right? Okay, so you want to outline all of these goals. Be very specific as possible. Okay, and be very authentic like what Chris Agua says. Thank you so much for tuning in, by the way. Right, see, while we can all be optimistic, you know what I mean? There's always that healthy dose of realism that's going to keep you grounded. You know, some of these things are going to be like, yeah, it's okay. I mean, let's go on. Let's do this. But remember, the best marketing plan in the world is not likely to increase, you know, you know, the very second you start putting it in. I told you a little time before, people take about eight times before they even start comprehending what it is that you're trying to do. All right. So every single time, you know, all you got to do is constantly put that number up. OK, if somebody saw you yesterday, make sure they see you again up until the tally for eight times goes up. All right. So at the end of the day, remember, that's why Coca-Cola McDonald's is always advertising, even if you already know who they are, but they got to make sure you're top of mind. Out of sight, out of mind. There's two other billion people somebody else could be paying attention to. Listen, listen. All right. So figure out what you are hoping to achieve and make sure you're taking people along with the journey. And Peter Combi, you're my man, too. All right. Let's do this, man. Let's 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 make things happen. All right. So right. So now we're on our number twenty-two. All right. Look at the pathways. Look at the ways that you're gonna do to actually hit the targets. All right. Now start figuring out. You know who are your target audience? If you say everyone, you've already lost the game. All right. You need to rethink that answer because not everyone is your customer. Everyone is not your customer. Even the largest companies, you know, they don't go blindly marketing to every individual. And guess what? Guess what? At the end of the day, right now, right this moment, people are so diverse. People are so different. The same 26 year old woman could be a mother, could be a career woman, could be a doctor, could be a lawyer, but they're all 26. They're all female, but they're totally different person. So you got to segment your market and be very specific. Be exact mondo about who you want to talk to and why they should care about your stuff. Okay. And Jian says, Prosper, I want to sell my books. Jian, the thing about books is there's so much content on the market right now. The only way you can really reach out to people is to let them know why they need your stuff. So put out more content, you know, do videos like this and then send people towards your, 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 your author's profile, either it's on Amazon or etc. People are not just buying books just because it looks good on the shelf. You got to give them a reason why they need it, why they shouldn't buy from anybody else. Okay, Gian, and how? Your book is actually going to shape and change the course of their life. Nobody's just going to go up and buy a book just because you're saying, here's a book, I want to buy it. All right. And also, once you start learning what your customers want, create stuff that they actually want. How do you know that that person wants numerology, which is what you're selling? Maybe that's not what they want. So figure out what your customers want and then have your book as maybe plus or minus, um, you know, a, a solution to what they're, they're, they're working on. All right. So real quick, guys. Oh, snap. We've gone past 30 minutes. All right. So there's a few things that you can do. Once you've defined your niche, guys, you know, be very clear and, and, and just go in and actually ask for the people for their money. And, you know, customers that are in your audience, describe their age, describe their income level, their sex. Facebook is doing amazing things to give you all that information. Don't be lazy to find out what your customers really want and who they are and be very specific. All right. Be very, very specific. All right. And I'm sorry, Jen, it's, it's on the fly and I'm trying to think of the next things to say. But let, let's have a chat in, in, the, in the inbox later on if, if you're kin. All right. And uh, Peter says, that's OK. Go longer. People listen more. <laughs> All right, Peter says we can go longer. You know what? Let's see how far we can go with this because we are on hour number 22. All right, so on hour number 22, be very specific, guys. You probably have several audience segments. You know, those people that are buying now, those people that will buy later, and those people that will buy in the future. All right, so not everyone is exactly ready, you know, within their buyer's journey. Some people, you know, are still very skeptical. Some people are ready and some people are hot leads. All right, so there's the cold, there's the warm, and then those people that are ready to be grabbed by the... 
All right. So just rank them in order of their priority. And with the things that I've talked about, some people are ready to buy instantly. Convince, convert them with your landing pages. Convert them with your email uh, list, etc., etc. All right. And then make sure that you've actually, you know, really, really um, are specific and you're very particular about who they are and their individuality. Because you can't just spray and pray anymore. You have to be very specific as to who they are, what they want, and if your solution can solve. All right. Now, I was uh, 21, okay? I was 21 to say maybe 16, all right? So that's how many? 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. That's five hours. Research your plan. Research where you are going to find those customers. Research who they're talking to. Research what they're already watching, listening to, research where they're getting that information from. All right. The first place you can actually do is find out what magazines or what other. Um, I'll, I'll show you what I'm doing, actually. All right. So I know most of my clients are property investors. These are the people that are actually. Um, you know, you know, buying stuff from me. So I buy their magazines and actually see what headlines, what, what, what stuff are they being offered? Who else is talking to them? And I try and connect with those people. Now, uh, Trish says I've named my target audience, John and Jacinta. Very good names. Double J. All right. And then I've clarified who they are. Um, into an actual person, uh, look into your customer avatar. You need to know this before you can target anyone. Ha! Ah, great stuff, great stuff. All right, so this is what I do, and I think, um, yeah, Trish, we talked about this earlier. I look into the magazine, look at this. They write about, you know, um, is property management worth it? Okay? I can actually take this topic and say, is digital marketing worth it? Okay, now the best part about, um, you know, magazines like this is you can actually write to them and say, hey, guys from Property Investor, I would like to place an ad in your magazine. Can you please shoot me through your target audience? Guess what they will do? They want money, right? They will actually show you, they will actually bring the, um, they will actually bring to you who they're targeting. All right, so they have spent millions and millions and millions of dollars to actually look for this avatar. And all you do is just copy and paste and then just duplicate that. Now, that's a million dollar idea, guys. All right, stuff that I tell my clients to actually go in and they're making millions. All right, so at the end of the day, this is the stuff that you get to learn in the online prosperity blueprint. If you haven't gotten your hands on this, type in blueprint and I'll send you through a copy of this. So when you're doing your research, you know, you've outlined, you know, where you want to go, where you want to be and exactly how you, you become a private eye, you become a private detective and the best route you need to follow to go there. Nothing provides you a clearer look like what Trish is doing, which is actually writing down exactly who that client is, what their problems is and what they had for dinner last night. Like seriously, guys, it's 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 not a joke. You gotta know the specific. Somebody write this word. You gotta be very specific about who you're targeting these days. Okay, so that's for you know that's the five hours where you actually go in. This is one way, and you can also go on Amazon. Check out on Amazon. You are allowed to see what's inside a book. All right, so you can see what your target audience is already reading and then just duplicate that stuff and bring it out to them because somebody has already done the, the work behind the scenes. All right, so, you know, information about your target audience is available everywhere and most of it is very free, guys. Guys, most of it is free. So take some time to find out, you know, the demographics, you know, the physical characteristics of what your audience really wants, who they're listening to and what they're actually um, paying attention to. All right. And find out how you can duplicate that or how you can actually get in front of them. And once you've got that, guys, woo, whoop, it's easy for you. All right. So, you, you know, you, you know, edge geography, income levels, all of that stuff you can find on you on uh, Facebook. And then guess what you then do? You then create a lookalike audience and then just send, you know, targeted, you know, content that you've pixeled to those guys. 
All right. So it's that simple. You know, trade associations that are already people are already signed up to. You know, if your target audience is dentists, you know, dentists also have, um, you know, people that sell them equipment. Find out how are they selling that equipment to those dentists? How are they paying attention? What publications are they subscribing to? What books are they buying on Amazon, etc., etc.? Once you know that, guys, once you have all that information in your, you can always grab them by the. All right. So, you know, it's 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 pretty simple, guys. And once you've got all this information in a detailed profile in your audience segment, you are now ready to actually give people what they want because you already, you know, you already know, you know, what what interests them and your targeted audience is ready. You're not spending much time and it's no longer a pain in the budget. Okay? If you've got any questions, let me know. And um so now we're on hour number 16, right? This is a 24-hour step-by-step schedule of how you can actually win in this um, um, internet thing all right so from number 16 to number 12 is how many hours four hours all right so all right you now start planning your action and actually start implementing all these things and if my voice leaves in five my voice goes just bear with me I've been going on for almost 41 minutes now all right so this is now the hot of your game plan this is our number 16 for each goal that you've um, established from before etc etc what you now need to do is create a st strategy and a, a, a plan of attack how are you going to be doing it what key messages are you going to be sending out to those people in the series of steps that we talked about for you to actually accomplish this goal to actually know that you're going to be winning at this game all right so you may have tools um, that you have at your disposal one of them is IFTTT it's called if this then that all right all you got to do with it all you got to do with it is set it up in such a way that um, you know people would um, you know it, it, it sends posts on your behalf and it duplicates you in all different um, you know social media places all right so once you've examined your goals you've set up your message all you got to do is just maybe do a mini brainstorming session and consider the best vehicles that your your message is going to be my my vehicle is video because I cannot write okay because you got to put out content there people are coming to the internet to get information and now if your brand is the one that's providing that information they get to know like and trust you and if you're the person that people know like and trust they will definitely do business with you all right so you can now decide i found where these people are i found you know how to reach out to them i've got my message how do i reach out to them youtube facebook instagram etc etc all right all you gotta know is the three m's your market your message and then the media that you're going to use. So what markets? We've already set that up. Your message is how are you going to reach out to them? Who cares? Etc. Etc. And please, please share this video. I mean, I've gone for longer than normal and I'm just really, really trying to, to figure out um, what else to say after this. Please just appreciate what we're doing right now by sharing this video. Okay? Please share this video. All right, so all you got to do now is figure out the strategy that you're going to use to reach out to those people in that 24 hours. Sometimes you can use a speaking engagement. Sometimes maybe you're good at public events. Or remember, we talked about those people that... Um, we talked about those people that you're going to connect with. Find out if they're not running events. Find out if they don't have an email newsletter to their people and see if you cannot piggyback on that. All right, so you can now, you know, accomplish all these activities in less than 24 hours how are we doing by the way please put on the likes put on the hearts i need to gather my thoughts this is longer than normal but you know what i'm only human and i need a drink of water come on come on guys come on share this video please 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 all right and then so oh ah oh, just like what the doctor prescribed like seriously guys <laughs> oh my god, what are we doing? What are we doing here? <laughs> mm. And guys, uh, come on guys. I mean, seriously, feed the charity. I'm from Africa. There's hungry kids there. Buy this book. Maybe I can put one of them through to school or something like that. <laughs> Type in blueprint. And then we've got it there. All right, so let's go on. Let's go on. So you can put in maybe online strategies. Um, 
whatever joint ventures you can put in so that you can now start putting out that message you know facebook live like this or email or putting out a blog or just really really typing um good captivating um content what that does now every single one of these things what 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 i've done it gives you a strategy to follow guys because if you're just hoping and praying you miss out on the good stuff and then once you seem to have a strategy or you seem to have a plan or some sort of flow of the work that you're doing, you actually position yourself in, in, in no time. You know, you, you, you now have key messages that people can latch onto. You are no longer a one-click wonder because the reason why you are not going ahead is because last year you were doing something else. Second year you were doing something else. This year you were coming up with something else as well. All right? So at the end of the day, it's one of those things. And once you have all these tactics, you've set it out, you've written it out. If you get tired or if you don't know how to do it or if you don't know how to actually implement it, you just go back to your, you know, set strategy. You know, it's easy. Right now, I know that people need content. And once they have that content, it's easy to convert them. And once they've converted, I then just turn them into, uh, you know, I create relationships with them and a community. That's all you got to do, all right? And that's pretty much what you can do in the next 24 hours, all right? You know, all these tactics you're launching every single day. You know why? Don't set a launch date. You can be grand opening, grand opening every single day because not everyone is seeing our stuff, all right? Not everyone is seeing your content, all right? So maybe somebody's seeing you for the first time. That's a grand opening for them. All right, so just continuously be out there, have some sort of a strategy, and for each step that you're putting yourself, keep asking yourself, why should I do this? Why am I doing this? Why am I going on for 45 minutes talking to Trish? Why am I talking to Elisha? I'm creating relationships, I'm creating a bond, and I'm also helping myself remember all the stuff that I continuously read. There's no point in you just reading, consuming, consuming, and not implementing. All right, so don't get trapped into, you know, you know, doing a big splashy promotion, you know, just for the sake of doing it. All right, there's more effective and, you know, smaller uh, things that you can do and more frequently. The more small communications that you do. Have you ever noticed that, you know, when you get tired, you know, you just keep scrolling in your feed and all of a sudden there's that one message from me that just tells you, keep going, keep going, you know, and then automatically... It registers to you that, oh my God, this guy cares, etc., etc. All those small things, they add up. All right? So if I'm going to be in your newsfeed at least eight to seven times, I've already, you know, frustrated the time that you're supposed to see me in order to say, hey, Prosper, I think I need your stuff now. All right? So, you know, finally, be sure that your promotions, your work, they are projecting the right image. All right, we're building brands here. We're building things that are going to transcend us. We're building things that are going to outlast us. Make sure you're presenting yourself in the right foot. Don't just go out there chasing waterfalls. Please stick to all the things and all the good things that you used to. I don't care and I don't know what it is that you're listening to, but just make sure it's the best thing for you. It feels right. Because if it doesn't feel right, then you cannot continuously do it. If it doesn't feel right, then you cannot replicate it. If it doesn't feel right, then you, you're not going to do it again. Your audience is very conservative. Don't go out and create an outrageous campaign or promotion. There are still people that are at the end of the day. And Trish, thank you so much for sharing this. It's still people. They still have feelings. They still don't have time. They're still looking for something that could help them go away from their pain. They are still people that have credit cards that have also earned that money. All right. So similarly, if you're going to need to project that you're top of the range, cutting edge, be sure that your efforts are being reciprocated by the audience that you're bringing along with you. All right. Don't leave your people hanging because nobody really cares where your business is going to go except for you. Okay. This is my gift from Live Long Digital. I hope that this 24 hour exercise is going to help you um, market, scale and grow your business. 
I really appreciate every single one of you guys for urging me to be a better person, be a better husband, be a better dad every single day and I really wish the same for you too. I want that your business is going to be something that you're going to pass on to your kids, you're going to pass on to the next generations and something you're typically going to be so proud of that you have done so well all the hours, all the sweat has not amounted to nothing. I'm here to help guys. I want you to win and that's the reason why I show up every single day for, well, now it's 50 minutes, but normally it's 30 minutes so that I can help you start your business. Scale it. And you can actually grow a business that you want to have, a business you're going to be proud of, and a business that you're going to talk about in the near future and have it easy for you to work in, you're making profit and it's enjoyable for you to work, okay? I help you create a strategy around your business. I will help you find the right people that need your stuff, the right people that have the pain that your problem can solve, and the right people that you can give a payoff to, and marry those people to a certain product, all right? I'll help you engage with them and I'll help you educate them about your services and your products. I'll also help you position yourself as the go-to person within your niche while you're providing value to people. Look at how much value I'm giving out every single day and how much respect I'm earning within yourself, the community, and the whole marketing world as a whole, okay? And I appreciate you for chilling with me every single day. I know it's not easy. Y'all got work to do, but you're there and you're supporting me and I thank you. This is the list that I can do, okay? So once we've con con uh, connected with those people with content, all we're doing is we're no longer farming. I know not a lot of us like selling, all right? We're no longer hunting, sorry. We're just farming for those people because they already know, like, and trust us. All we're doing is we're solving their problems. We're not selling to them. We're just marketing online to make sure that everybody understands what we're doing and what's expected of them. All right? All you're putting out there is calls to action, telling them, this is what I've got. This is what it will do for you. This is why it's safe to work with me. And this is what I want you to do next. It's that simple. All right, so you're no longer going around chasing your tail, chasing people that are tire kickers, chasing people that are not even going to pay you or they're not even qualified for your services. All right, after that, you're creating relationships with these people so that they continuously buy more from you and you're building loyalty. You know what they will do? They'll be sharing your video, they'll be sharing your content and literally helping you and supporting you with their credit cards. All right. Everyone, if you're a business owner or an entrepreneur, you are like the president and you need people and customers to vote for you. The only way they vote for you to stay in power is by their credit card. All right. So all you're doing right there is building a community around your work. People that already know, like, and trust you. And when people know, like, and trust you, they do business with you. All right. And eventually branding happens and you're building authority because you become the go-to person within your niche. All right. So... You know, some, some business marketers or some business people, they actually believe that marketing is an optional expense, but it's not. You're actually wasting your time if you're not engaging in any of the things that I mentioned there, and you've got the time. I've, you know, outlined to you, if you haven't really understood what I was talking about, go back and watch this video. I've put out the eight things that you need to do in your business to start being visible and how to implement them in the next 24 hours. So if you want content ideas, type in content right now and I'll give you 100 tips that you can utilize right now so you can start you know, creating and relating to your customers. All right. In the meantime, it's almost one hour. You know what? We might as well just go on so that because I'm very pedantic like that. Why would I leave um, a video going on for just six minutes? Now, if you've got any questions or if you want to know something that I've been talking about and within reason, please type in your questions and let me see if I can answer them, um, you know, before we head off. OK. All right. So. One other thing while we're waiting for the questions, make sure you've got specific time frames and time limits 
or as to what it is that you have to, um, you know, what, 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 how much time you have to, to implement these things by. All right. So if you say I need to have maybe a hundred leads by next week, your brain or your subconscious starts working towards that. But if you don't put a deadline, if your goals are not measurable, it then makes it hard for your brain to comprehend what it is that you have to do. All right. So now that you've broken down all these steps that are involved in in any of these marketing activities that we're talking about, allot some time, you know, schedule your time of your day. Maybe you've got another job or maybe you've got other things to do. What doesn't get scheduled will never be done. All right. I actually have to schedule this call. I actually have to schedule, um, you know, this video chat so that I make sure that nobody rings between that time or maybe nobody, you know, wants to set an appointment with me that time. Because if you just leave it to be ad hoc, it also, you know, just works out as ad hoc. And if you don't, if you're not consistent, your brain is always going to be telling you against doing that particular activity because your mind is wired to protect you and it's wired to make you not do things that seem difficult. Okay. So be sure that you're not over, you know, overextending yourself. You, you may get burned out. And if you now start suffering fatigue and burnout, you might not yield the results that you really want to, because you know, the, the things that everybody's doing is maybe because they're outsourcing their work or maybe they have a team or they have things that they actually have in place to make sure it, it works out for them. Now, Trish says, what do you think of paying people who spread word for your business as a further incentive? Okay. All right. You can pay people a commission. So a finder's fee, you can pay people, um, you know, uh, uh, some sort of incentive. It is okay. Those people can be influencers. All right. So somebody like me, Trish, you can pay me a lot of money. I want it right now. Give me my cash. All right. To, to spread word about what you do as a service. All right. And then gauge to see if there's a return of investment. Some people have a micro audience. Some people have people that actually listen to them. So if I say, Hey, you guys go and follow Trish right now. Maybe five people will do that because of the influence that I have. So figure out which people actually can create the buzz within your industry and they're not going to cripple you and people that can actually carry your brand and people that are actually really care about your brand and have got your best interest at heart. Because some people may use your branding, may use your marketing, you know, so that they can, you know, get ahead and you don't know what it is that they're actually saying behind your way. All right. So choose wisely. There's a lot of people out there that can help you reach out to um, anybody else you want online, etc., etc. Trish, I hope I answered your question there. I really hope I answered your question. And if you haven't shared this video, we've been going on for close to one hour. Guys, come on. This is exciting. I think we're going to hit a record. I think we're going to hit a record. And thank you so much for the trust and, and, and trust in the process that we can actually do this. Now, we've got three more minutes to go. Let's fill them in with jam-packed content. Ask me a question. Let's go with it. All right? Guys, at the end of the day, just make sure you go for it. All right? Don't let nothing hold you back. Don't ask or don't even think that the next person cares. All right. You see what you hold now in your hands, guys, what I've just given you is the most effective to do list that you will ever have coming from somebody for free. All right. I'm giving away my time, years and years of experience, hours and hours of reading, hours and money from mentorship that I've just put together into this one hour. So after you actually take this really, really serious, you would have prepared a document that will actually help you reach your audience, you know, re make you become an authority within your niche and actually spread your expertise, you know, without burning out and without, um, you know, coming out, you know, as if you're desperate guys, do not put your marketing plan or whatever we've discussed here on the shelf and then just forget about it because if you don't do it, share this video with your competition and watch them grow. All right. Your marketing plan should be your living document. You should swear by it. 
like I do with my blueprint. I also use this in my business, by the way. So I know if I just wake up, what am I doing in my business today? Am I engaging? Am I providing value? Or am I educating people? All right. So once you start doing, oh, almost, it becomes a no brainer. Okay. So that was a sign to say time is up. We got to head out. All right. Don't put it on the back banner and make sure you continuously, um, you know, follow through with whatever you have created because this is your business. This is your life. This is your future and your bills depend on it. Your survival depends on it. And the stories that you're going to create, the people that you're going to help and the lives that you're going to save depend on it as well. This has been Prosper, guys. Ah, thank you so much for those people that watched the whole one hour. And for those people that just joined in, we were talking about the eight things you got to do so that you can actually start, scale and grow a business that's profitable and enjoyable. And I've given you a step by step structure of how to proceed for the next 24 hours so you can actually have a business that you can enjoy and you can also uh, utilize. If you're watching this on YouTube, please share this video. And just go for it, guys. You've got this. You've got the power in you. All I just did was remind you what you already know. That's all I just did. You already got this. I was just reminding you. All right? In the meantime, go on and enjoy the rest of your weekend. Watch this video over and over and over again up until you get it. Because it was designed for you and you want to watch it. I really wish you the best in your business. I really want you to prosper. In the meantime, go and do good and just be amazing people. And thank you so much for tuning in today.